I have often said that the lure of flying is the lure of beauty, that the reason flyers fly, whether they know it or not, is the aesthetic appeal of flying. Amelia Earhart. As a flight instructor, you have the opportunity to help others experience the beauty of flight. The mediocre teacher tells. The good teacher explains. The superior teacher demonstrates. The great teacher inspires. William A. Ward. As a teacher, you not only have the ability to impart knowledge, you can also inspire and make dreams come true. The cockpit was my office. It was a place where I experienced many emotions and learned many lessons. It was a place of work, but also a keeper of dreams. Brian Schul. Flight instructing allows you to turn your passion for aviation into your profession. What better office window exists than the windscreen of an airplane? Up to this point in your aviation career, you focused primarily on becoming a better pilot by increasing your aviation knowledge and improving your flying skills. During your journey toward becoming a certificated flight instructor, CFI, you learn how to pass on your knowledge and skills. The process begins with exploring basic learning theories and teaching techniques. Understanding the brain's ability to receive and store information, as well as examining individual learning styles and the communication process, lays the basic foundation necessary to become a successful teacher. In addition, early in your CFI training, you learn how to plan lessons and discover a wide variety of teaching methods and you study the most effective ways to critique and evaluate performance. While you acquire an understanding of the foundations of learning and teaching, you also begin learning to operate the airplane from the right seat. At first, flying from the right seat may feel awkward to you, but your instructor helps you adjust to the changes in orientation you experience, such as your view of the instrument panel. For example, your interpretation of an airspeed, altitude, or heading when looking at the instruments from an angle differs from the information seen on the displays from straight ahead. Also, you must adjust to changes in visual references outside the airplane when performing such maneuvers as steep turns or landings. With practice, you soon master both private and commercial maneuvers from the right seat. In addition to performing maneuvers from the right seat, you must also complete specific spin training required for flight instructor applicants. After you've learned the fundamentals of learning and teaching and have become proficient at controlling the airplane from the right seat, you are introduced to practice instruction. First, your instructor asks you to develop lesson plans for ground and flight instruction sessions. On the ground, you explain concepts to your instructor as you would to a student. During flight lessons, you describe and demonstrate maneuvers and procedures. Then your instructor performs maneuvers while making specific errors to simulate a student's actions. For example, to illustrate an error common to beginning students, your instructor might use improper control input to correct for a crosswind on final approach. In the case of basic attitude instrument flight, your instructor may intentionally fail to lead the rollout to a heading. When practicing commercial maneuvers, your instructor may introduce a very subtle error by using a little too much rudder pressure during a chandelle. You are expected to identify these errors and respond appropriately, perhaps by explaining or demonstrating the correct procedures. Finally, you must provide a critique of the performance and suggest means of improvement. It requires practice to become an effective instructor, especially in the cockpit where you experience a high workload. To maintain flight safety, you must be able to divide your attention between explaining procedures, controlling the airplane, and monitoring your students' actions. As you continue to practice teaching, both in the air and on the ground, you develop techniques to effectively instruct a wide variety of students. For example, when training beginning students, you concentrate on basic flying skills and help students overcome apprehension regarding maneuvers such as slow flight, stalls, takeoffs, and landings. 
you should be especially alert to issues such as collision avoidance, since beginners are normally completely focused on their assigned flying task. On the other hand, when you work with commercial students, you should emphasize the very precise flying skills needed to perform advanced maneuvers. You should also help your commercial students develop a professional attitude regarding flight operations. Once you've acquired the ability to explain procedures, demonstrate maneuvers, provide effective critiques, and properly evaluate student performance, you are ready to take the practical test. When you've successfully completed your check ride with your CFI certificate in hand, a new world of opportunities opens up to you. You may decide to enhance your flight instructing career by adding an instrument or a multi-engine rating to your certificate. You can expand your aviation knowledge and add variety to your instructing activities by giving specialized instruction. For example, providing flight reviews and instrument proficiency checks helps other pilots maintain their currency. Transition training and tailwheel instruction, as well as complex and high-performance checkouts, all provide opportunities to instruct in a wide variety of airplanes. You may also enjoy providing regional checkouts to pilots new to your area, or you may find it exciting to conduct mountain flying lessons. If you're an enthusiast of aerobatic flight or home-built aircraft, these venues may allow you to share your interest through training others. As you gain experience, you may become qualified to train the next generation of CFIs. Whether outwardly or inwardly, whether in space or time, the farther we penetrate the unknown, the vaster and more marvelous it becomes. Charles Lindbergh. Through instructing, you're not only teaching students new skills, you're helping them to grow, explore the unknown, and perhaps discover something marvelous. In teaching others, we teach ourselves. Proverb. As a flight instructor, you learn volumes about your own knowledge and abilities as you observe your students' errors and analyze their techniques. As soon as we left the ground, I knew myself that I had to fly. Amelia Earhart. Each time you lift off the runway with a new student, you can sense the same excitement that Amelia Earhart felt on her first flight. Through your students, you'll experience the joy of discovering flight again and again. Thank you.